Before we get started today, man, I want to pay homage to one of the all-time greats, man, Grant Hill. This this caption says, Grant Hill is arguably the biggest what-if ever. And I know a lot of people probably just remember him with Orlando not being able to do much and with the Suns where he was, he was a shell of himself, but he was still a very good player. But this is the Grant Hill I remember from 1994, getting on that rim. That's what I'm talking about, right? I mean, he had... He had, at that point in time, he had uh, the, the Grant Hill drink Sprite. He had uh, shook all the shoes. Like, everybody had his shoes when I was coming up in middle school. Everybody wanted to be like Grant Hill. You he had people wanting to wear number 33 and all that stuff, man. So just want to pay homage to him, man, because that's one of the, they, they right. He is arguably the biggest what up story. Like, they were like, is that the next Jordan? And then, you know, when he got hurt or what have you, then, um, then, it, you know, it kind of flipped over to the Vince Carters and the Kobe's of the world and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, at one point in time, Grant Hill was that dude, just like Antonio McDice was that dude. A lot of people just remember Antonio McDice as that guy that just used to shoot uh shoot th uh mid ranges for the Pistons or whatever. Bro, Antonio McDice used to live, literally live this far above the rim before he hurt both of his knees. Man, I mean, they used to throw so many lobs, bro. It was crazy. But that's all. Uh, hey. That's what could have been, what would have been, what should have been. But what ought to be is this right here, man. Listen, man. You don't go, you don't want to be a could have been, should have been, would have been. Because you can enter to win a chance to get a $50 gift card, $50 cash app, or a PlayStation 5 or Xbox uh, Series 1X. Whatever you want to get, man. A next-gen console. And all you got to do is like the video. And uh, we'll just, you know, at the end of your comment, hashtag Grant Hill at the end of your comment. And you'll automatically be entered in a chance to win a $50 gift card on tomorrow. So any, if you like the video and comment on the video, you're entered to win a $50 gift card or $50 cash out tomorrow. And then if each video averages about 10,000 views this month, we're gonna give away a next-gen console. So at the end of the month, if everything averages 10,000 views, we will give away either a PlayStation 5 or a Xbox Series, whatever y'all want, man. So make sure y'all continue to support us. We love you guys, need you guys. Continue to support the channel. And uh, we're gonna keep going. And without further ado, uh, let's just get right into the video and we're gonna say good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check it out, bro. Hey, speaking of back in the day, man, the boy GVTNB, he says, I remember my two, I remember my 20 gig Xbox 360 used to have plenty of games on it. Now, now I just have now I just about have to clear up 20 gigabytes of free space to be able to turn my console on. Boy, you ain't lying, boy. These games are much bigger and uh, they're a lot more robust. Now, a lot of them have been optimized. Now you gotta think about this too. These are for the next gen console, but a lot of these games have been optimized for the standard SSD that is in each console because they know it's there. Bro, imagine how big these games would be if they weren't optimized. If these games weren't optimized, they I mean, when I'm telling you they would be huge, they would be huge. But because SSD has uh, a different type of addressing because it doesn't spin, it can it can actually seek out the seek time is actually literally almost zero. Uh, these games are allowed to be a lot smaller. So I would say thank you, Lucky Stars, because bro, the, the I don't know what we got. I think I, on the X you got a terabyte or something like that, and then you only get like 800 up, bro. I, I promise you, you would not be able to. Uh, it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be it would be real ugly if they didn't decide to go to straight SSDs for this. Uh, for these joints right here. Up next, they got the boy Power DF. That boy, I mean, not Power DF, grinding, D, uh, grinding, simply grinding, not no longer DF, just now simply grinding. And he says, man, shout out to 2K for giving us everything that we asked for this year. We asked for a legend grind. We got it. We asked for the city to be smaller and easier to get around. We got it. We asked for weekly contests slash events. We got it. Haven't been this excited to grind in years. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. We got a lot of what we wanted. Pretty much just about everything we wanted, man. The only thing that we got, uh, we also got some stability issues that we didn't want. And they are working on those, and I feel confident they're gonna get those things worked out, such as this from the boy uh, Huffy. He's saying, help, why can I not core posterizer? Now, uh, we did uh, we did do some some research or what have you, and uh, the people were saying uh, one guy said the reason that you can't core certain badges is if though if the plus four is what allows you to core a badge, then you're not going to be able to core it until they fix the uh, until they fix the issue because it's not seeing the plus four. The plus four is just kind of there. So more or less, just saying this to say, let's say if you had if you had eleven badges, what is going to take like let's say if it takes fifteen badges to be able to core something on Hall of Fame, right? 
um, in that third tier. We're just going to say, I, I don't know the math right now. It's 12 or 15. But let's say if it takes 15 points and you had 11 and then you added the four, then the four is what is allowing you to do it so you're not going to be able to court. It's going to be similar to a sleeve, right? Like when I put a sleeve on, like let's say if um, if if um, shooting, if uh, if if uh, uh, defensive rebounding, box out beast on Hall of Fame, you got to have 94. But if I put on a sleeve and that sleeve gives me the 94, I'm not going to be able to do it. Now, I know that's not how they intended it to be, but they are going to fix it. It is something that they're working on. It's just going to take a little bit of time. That boy, speaking of issues, also that boy, Big Papa Baraday, he says, how am I supposed to get these wreck of these hundred wreck wins? Bro, it's gonna be tough, man. That boy, that, look at that boy instant burn out the crying emoji. Bro, it's, and then Gladdy TMB said, I feel I feel, I mean, it'd be a pain. I finished it, I finished it in a week or two just by making it a close game on purpose and they don't quit. Bro, it's crazy that you gotta babysit these people. Like, not only do you have to play them, but you can't beat the out of them. Now, later on, we just grinding for points, points, points. Yeah, we're going to go in there. We're just going to blast teams over and over, and maybe we can just, you know, get the points up and all that once we make sure that those points count. I'm sure that the points count, um, you know, whether they quit or not. But that's what we're going to have to try to do to get the points up. But, man, it is so hard because you have to satiate these babies out here so that they don't quit. You got to sit there and get up by 20. Then you got to let them close that gap and, and maintain, like, a five-point lead to, like, the fourth quarter, and then you can take off on them. Nobody really quits in the fourth quarter. It's a shame that we got to do that. But I feel like that they put that in there. We do get the win, but it doesn't count on the quest, and that's all we really want is for it to count on the quest. Hopefully they can put something in there where it not only counts on the quest, but it counts on the quest retroactively because that would be dope because it's really hard to get those 100 games on a lot of people they just tired of the wreck man i'm not even gonna lie to y'all man speaking of speaking of game breaking stuff hey this boy doggone post drew is at it again man look at this man he said casually breaking the game again pump fake pump fake get up out of there post up go back hop step pump fake pump fake run out the paint post hook yapperson bro back you do this to me, you gonna have to see me. I ain't gonna lie, post. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Look at this, man. Like, like, this is what I be saying, bro. Like, they they go out their way to try to make a game where it can't be teased, and then what do we do? We gonna tease the game. Like, that's what everybody gonna do, man. I don't know, man. It's been, people spend so much time. Like, I'm not gonna play this shit straight up. It doesn't matter what you say, 2K. Me, I take stuff as a challenge and say I'm gonna play within the rules and I'm gonna make my guy be kind of broken no matter what. Everybody else be like, I'm not playing this straight up. It don't matter what y'all do, y'all can't make me. I will find something that's game break. It is what it is, man. Hey, God bless him, man. Shout out to Post Drew for that, man. Hey, sometimes maybe just showing, showing you know, what need to be addressed in the game. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section. Up next, that boy Double H, he says, I just beat him. Speaking of post, post scores, I just beat the post score eight times in a row on the ones, and he had, and he messaged me after calling me a cheater. Bro is in disbelief. It's crazy that some Somebody would actually be able to stop something with interior defense. I know people were mad about that, talking about they nerf, uh, they nerf post scores, so now they should nerf steals and nerf the lockdown. But what y'all gotta understand is it was literally impossible. It was not possible to to contest a post score shot. You would get the number up there, but they didn't feel the defense. So, like Mike said, it was immune. To defense immune to defense means it could not be defended there was nothing we could do so uh we were at the mercy of post scores and that's why they fixed that not to not to nerf them that wasn't really a nerf it just really put them in line where they needed to be but you know it is what it is up next we got the boy steezo saying six nine demi guys have completely taken over 2k23 can literally do everything uh my old my other bills my other bills can do and more it, it's looking crazy. Very game-breaking video dropping in 47 seconds. And on that video, man, y'all gotta go check out with that boy. He did the doggone begin another video, man. And he did like the little rap battle scene, bro. That joint was hilarious. Link to that will be down in the description. Um, you know, like I said. But speaking of speaking of things that are game-breaking in the steals and stuff, man. Hey, how many of y'all be like this? The boy Hezzy Kane said, when I get plucked, I ass be looking at my lock like. What you finna do about that, boy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I know Brute be the same way. Bro, when he get, hey, everybody else just started laughing like, and dude was like, oh God, LMFAO. And said, you getting it back? You getting it back in blood for me? And then said, this sent me, hey, bro, hey, you know what I'm saying? Oh God, I be like, bro, I be like, bro, get it 
It's funny. <laughs> they got the Tom and Jerry down there. Bro, I know every guard be like that for real. But see, somebody like, bro, he don't got to worry about it. Bro, he know if he get plucked, me and Gambit is like, don't even worry about it. We're going to get that right back. And we do that too when we make a bad play. If I make a bad play, I'm like, don't worry about it. I get it right back for you or something like that. But like, yeah, we that, that's how I, I think that's how it is. That's how it should be like, bro, what you about to do about that for me for real? On, on that. Why am I getting clipped and on that body, man? Why? Look at me come back and get that board. How many of y'all got 90? I got 94 defensive rebounding because I'm like the ultimate support position and I can shoot the ball and stuff and get on the rim a little bit. Let me know what y'all rebounding is down in the comment section, man, because I would like to know. Um, I'm 6'7". I got 94 defensive rebounding. I got 80 uh, offensive rebounding. Y'all think that's overkill or whatever? Because I feel like I want to be able to get stops and close out possessions. And like your center's not always gonna be in in position to close out possessions. Like Gambit, he's the main guard, but I think he hadn't finished his bill yet. So right now they got me as on as guarding the point. But I think it's it's, it's beneficial to have somebody coming out those corners or coming coming to help you also secure the rebound. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Now in the comment section, Clyde and TMB, the down of all the video games started when these kids started complaining about people being good at the game. I remember when I was a kid and saw uh, a Superstar 3 in, or a Legend in 2K, I did not tell them to take a shower, go outside. I sent that MF a squad invite. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I don't know if I'm sending a squad invite. We wanted to play against them, though. Like, you got some people, like, I, I, I'm gonna I'm say something real quick and then we gonna go from there. Uh, a lot of people, we grew up in, in you had, like, we, we used to pay to win, right? Because, I, and it's messed up as it is, we are used to it kind of because we used to go to the arcade and the dude that had the most money was eventually gonna win. Like, it just is what it is. You're five years, you you know, you five, 10, 11 years old, you got a dollar. Your mama seen you down there with a dollar just to keep you quiet. You got four games you can play. This dude is a grown man with a pocket full of money. His, his resources are endless. Well, he gonna sit there and you can't tease him because they didn't allow that because you standing right beside him. Bro, them dudes to sit there and boo you off the box, bro. Like, I know some people go, nah, I don't care. You can't boo me up, bro. I'm telling you, that pressure right there when you playing against a whole bunch of people and they trying to play straight up and they spending their hard-earned money right there, it's, it's their pressure. Boy, you can't just sit there and cheese people all day long. You can, you can get, you got, you got to know how to cheese them. You had to know because I'm going to cheese them. I was an Eddie Gordo player. If you didn't know what you were, I knew that whole 10-hit combo. I can do it right now. That Eddie Gordo. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. And then, like, hey, it was a little kid down there, look. Look here, it was like, you just hitting the button. Nah, nah, nah. I know what I'm doing with Eddie Edward, Eduardo Gordo, man. So you know it is what it is. Up next, man, we got the community clips. First up, we got my boy, Big Daddy Bash. Let's check it. Let's see what Big Daddy Bash got, man. Coming through. Get that shot out of here, man. Ah! The boy, Big Daddy Bash, one of the most entertaining content creators in the game, man. You know, cool dude. Real, real cool guy, man. Up next, hey, we got... Who do we got, man? I, I I didn't see who it was. That's Kane. Kane with the uh with the six one. You know you got this little, little, little six one mixtape. Trey Ball, Yopperson, Jay Jonah Yopperson. You know he can be Andre. I'm Jay Jonah Yopperson. There you go, look Andre Yopperson out there moving. Look, bro, I'm telling y'all when they're saying that them six ones is moving just bro they them dudes moving different bro i don't care what nobody say i understand that y'all talking about straight line straight line speed and stuff like this but when this dude is speed boosting bro like like I, i'm i don't know man it's, it's something different about him i can't stay in front of him so you know it is what it is man big shout out to hezzy kane on double up next this boy say ronald bless me again bro why for why can't get blessed one time ronald I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Run it, you can't bless me again. Look at that boy. That boy. Hold on. Y'all can't even see what the reward is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Let me show y'all what the reward was real quick, man. And I done lost my mouth. Your reward is. Let me let me show y'all what the reward was. There, there we go. We gonna run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Unlimited boost. Waffle, I can't get unlimited boost, law. And last but not least, we got Lowski out here, man. And you know he said, he said, uh. You know he's saying he said they I, I, they gonna start watching me pretty much what he's saying look at oh my god with the inside out tray ball trays up splash down hey look man like i said man the game is a blast i'm having a lot of fun man um hopefully you guys are enjoying the content that we that we are putting out and all of that good stuff man i hope that uh I don't, I don't know why my stuff ain't changing, man. My, my, where my room at? It ain't changing to the right room. Where my standby room? There we go. I, I'm. <laughs> 
I, I hope you guys are enjoying the content we're putting out, man. Um, if you didn't watch that video from last night, it's the glove video. It lets you know what, what's the right steel that you need before you make your build and all that good stuff. Make sure you go check that out and all uh, the power of the glove. Also, like I said, put Grant Hill down in the comment section at the end of your comment, and uh, you'll be entered to win either a $50 gift card tomorrow. Uh, make sure you like the video too, but you'll, you'll, win, you'll be able to win either a $50 gift card tomorrow and you'll also be entered to win a next gen console uh, at the end of the month if we can average 10k views, man. Only you guys can make that happen, man. Help me help y'all and help yourselves, man. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm holla at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, PK, the People's Channel. Guys, please. Guys, please.